Hello everybody on the Highland Lord Sports Network. I'm Tommy Maroon back at um the computer room at my house. Um but anyways before we hit the new year, as you can tell we are less than two hours away now. I thought I'd like to end it on what's gonna happen because I'm gonna be on my way to Disney World as I've mentioned so many times on this YouTube channel. By the way, make sure you hit the like button on this video, subscribe. Hit the bell icon, our YouTube channel, as we represent this beautiful high school, Highland High School, continues to grow and get bigger and bigger. And it's all thanks to you, already at 87 subscribers. My goal was to get at least 100, and the fact that we're almost there really gets me excited. So thank you for that. But anyways, I will be leaving from January the 1st all the way up to January the 6th. So as you can tell, that means... Like right there, January the 1st is when I leave, and then I won't get back to Monday night on the 6th. So I'll be missing a day of school on behalf of the rest of the band as we take that long bus ride, which is the equivalent to Desert Bus. For those of you that know me, that is like a game that I like harp about a lot because it's like the worst game ever. But anyways, unfortunately... We have a game on January the 3rd, the boys team, and it's against Aurora, and it's inconveniently here at Highland at 7.30, so I won't be able to make it, but if you will be in town on January the 3rd, I highly suggest that you come to this game, as the Horns won their last game against Buckeye, and they really need momentum. They've been off to a pretty poor start, but luckily... Now that they start 1-5, they won their last game. Maybe this can transition to a little winning streak they have. So, of course, January the 3rd. And then Tuesday, January the 7th, we'll be going up against Copley. That will be on the road against Copley. Of course, that's the first day I, on behalf of the Pride of Iowa Marching Band, comes back from our Disney World trip. So on January the 7th, I will not be showing up to that game, and it will not be on the Highland Hornet Sports Network. So, if in case if you were all excited for that, I'm sorry that won't be happening. Even though Copley isn't that um, far away. Yeah, again, it isn't that close, though. But don't worry, I will be there for January the 10th and um, January the 24th, the 31st, as I continue to look. The 11th, the 14th, and the 18th. So a lot of fun for that. And this year, you know, a lot of great stuff. And for girls basketball, as we continue to go there with that team, as I try to get there. There we go. That's right. Now the computer wants to work with me. But anyways, right there, one unfortunate thing is that we're playing Copley on January 4th on vacation. And it just so happens to be a home game as well. So I will be missing those two games. But just like on the third when we play Aurora, I highly suggest that you show up to this game against Copley as this team seemingly has the momentum of a runaway freight train. But don't worry, I will be doing the game against um, Barberton on Saturday the 11th. I will try to do that. And I would like to... Do the one on Wednesday the 29th against Aurora because, of course, well, we lost that game on the road to them. And that's going to be like one of the most hyped games in the state. Not just Medina County, not just Northeast Ohio, but all of Ohio is going to watch that game. That's going to be like one of the biggest games in the state. That's going to happen to be at home, happen to be on January 29th. Right when I'm taping the Tommy Maroon Sports Show on WCTV, of course, as we all know. On the 8th, I have a special that I've been so excited to tell you all about. But I'm just excited for it. So, in case you don't know, I will be doing nine home games this season. Of course, I'm like halfway done with that for boys basketball. I've, I've done, or I will do at least three girls basketball games. And hopefully that fourth one against Aurora. So, in total, I know I will be doing... 12 games this winter, which is nothing to scoff at. Really pretty impressive that I've been able to do that. So, And, of course, a little thing before we end it. 
This is a vote for the Ohio High School Athlete of the Week. And Alexis is nominated for it. She has been doing a great job. And as you can tell, third in the state in blocks per game at four and a half. And I got to tell you something. She can block anything. She has been really our go-to defensive player. Really excited to do that. Make sure you vote for her. Just go on maxpreps.com and then just try to get here and make sure you vote. You can vote as many times as you want, which is a good thing. And it doesn't matter how much you vote. It matters if you vote and hopefully you will vote for her because I don't know about you. I'm just excited for it. Well, I know I've been kind of repeating myself over and over again with this, but I hope you get the memo of this, and I will try to do a video on the um, games for Highland, both the game against Aurora and the game against Copley for boys and girls. All right, we get the imbalance stuffing. You can vote as many times as you want, though. I think they don't mind max preps. But anyways... I'm just really looking forward to it, this Disney trip. I'm pretty excited for it, as we all know, on the Iowa Horn Sports Network. So, so thank you so much, everybody, as we wish you all a very happy new year. And make sure you once again hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and all that great stuff. And until then, I'm Tommy Maroon, saying so long, and see you in 2020, hopefully.